Oh, because uh, I'm closing out the night. No, that kind of summary, you know, more seasonal. Yeah. <laughs> summary. Summary. Summary, yeah. Somebody told me I shouldn't do any more puns. <laughs> and they were right. So this is called Mofongo. Mofongo, uh, I don't know if you know, if you've ever been to Puerto Rico, it's a dish that they have over there, it's like mashed, sweet mashed potatoes. So this is actually called sweet mashed potatoes, but in honor of Puerto Rico Day, which is pretty soon, it's called Mofongo. It's the first day we've been able to lie out. The atmosphere has been moody. Here we are though, on the lounges, and the surf mashes onto the buttery sand behind us. We have brought a book each, but are soon distracted by an iguana. Uh, if you need translations, because I know my accent's funny, an iguana's like a big lizard. <laughs> It wanders into vision about 20 feet away on the grass in a clearing fringed with coconut palms. The lizard is big and its tail tapers off to a seemingly infinite point. It is unafraid and its movements are elegant. Then it stops. A smaller one, more colourful, scampers up alongside. This one has a crest and seems a little skittish. Are you watching? Yes, I say, everyone is. The small one climbs onto the scaly spine of the first. They stay like that for 10 minutes, maybe more. I look at my book, but I can't finish a sentence. Some kids from the chalet next door come and take photographs. It looks like a mother giving its baby a ride as chimps cling to the breast. But I guess they're just having sex. They are not having sex. <laughs> I sip a little rum as he gets his spuds in, slowly. Is it the way of it here in the tropics? They don't seem to care. There by the bar, the stones skip from the sea as the waves break and break again. So I can do another uh, another summary one. It's summary. So it's fucking summary. Yeah, it's fucking summary. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes and think of summary. It's pithy and wrapped up in itself. You know, it's like sum summary. Anyway. We can sit and look at the excavated Sarah under this blisterful sun, halfway on a dry pine terrace, whilst the... Okay, it is a word. Right. How do you say this? Chicadas. Chicadas. Cater, let's call the whole thing up. <laughs> so again, we can so, say and look at this excavated Sarah under this blisterful sun, halfway on a dry pine terrace, whilst the Chicadas. engines overrun. <laughs> we will be bitten by tiny predators and again submerge stinging skin one evening in the middle of July before a new moon comes. Ants appear. Hundreds fly and die dimpling the surface of the warm pool. We cannot swim for fear of mouthfuls. Hundreds more lose their queen and divested of wings busy themselves amongst crumbs under the alfresco table where the lizards roam on a feast day. They dally in the glow, not scared by feet for once, but reaping slowly with silent tongues. Uh, that's summer <laughs> Uh, I just want to ask you a question. Do you know why there's so many mosquitoes in the world, Phil? There's a sucker born every minute. <laughs> Got any cash back? Yeah. Uh, that was our last one for tonight. I had a good time. I hope you all did too. Um, our next show is not going to be on July 4th, obviously, so we're going to be back on July 11th. That's Thursday evening. Our Silver Tongue Devil lineup for July 11th will be 
George Wallace, Long Island Poet Laureate and an associate of Jane over here. They're good buds. And we're going to have Jamie Martin, who's a slam winner. Tara Clancy, who's a Moth Grand Slam winner. Really good storyteller. Maya Osborne, also a slam winner. It's going to be a slam night lineup. Thank you for coming. Hope to see you next month. And one last favor. I'm the cleanup guy here, so please bring your glasses back upstairs. I can't carry them all. <laughs> Thank you very much.